done many interviews. Yes, Joe Lee. This one backstage at AO Arena from travelling around the world. This oh, man. was obviously extra special because tonight you made your pro debut. Yes. Basically your pro debut in a big fight as well. What a moment for you. I know, bro. Like, you know, Joe Lee. I Sorry, language, I don't want to swear. Um, You've been around with me. In, you, do you know, you was in Italy, you was in Serbia with me, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, um, it's been a long time coming, do you know, making the return back to the UK. It's been six, uh, 18 months, do you know what I mean? And, do you know, obviously my dad, you you, you saw my dad in Europe and that, and, and in Italy, in Serbia, um, but it's off my whole, you saw you saw it, um, do you know what I mean? I think I'll be fighting the night, do you know what I mean? I don't see how it can be, even, I think that's performance of the night, it has to be. Yeah. So far, like, I couldn't, could you think of anyone else? No, w would you... Just sum up the performance for me, please. Dominance. Yeah. Like, could you? Uh, I'd agree. Like to say it was ten eights all three, up until the last round where I subbed him. Like, how, what? What? Debut pro level. Do you see getting ten eights? We spoke about it being striker versus grappler in the week, but there was it was just complete dominance. He didn't get a chance to no. implant any of his. Game the thing is, Dennis. Him. Dennis grows with confidence as the fight goes on. Wilder well, let him get confident as he as he as he like his biggest weapon is his confidence. Yeah. Like Wilder well, give him the confidence to build. Yeah. Like and the more it went on, the more I got confident. I was, you know me, I'm a very confident individual anyway. Like I'm confident in my skill level, and I showed the level that I am. You know that me and my coach and my team we all operate on, um, and that is you know that of pure perfection. Not pure perfection because you can never prepare for like Volk says. You can only ever be nine out of ten. You can never be ten out of ten. Do you feel so, like you drained him after that first round? Yeah, because yeah, I mentally, he, he, he mentally just couldn't do anything, like, he couldn't stop. As soon as he realised I could take him down, it was over for him. He, he mentally broke, and that, that, that was the main thing for me. So, like, no, no, no. And so as soon as I knew he got him down, I was like, done. I know he, he got, like, little, like, reverse in the second, third, was it? Second or third? But, like, you saw my wrestling pedigree. Second or third, it was the third, wasn't it? No, 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 where are you? Yeah, um, but you saw my wrestling pedigree, like, that's all I like with Liam and Josh um, and the students. If they were sweet me, I'm straight back up on a single leg, straight back up on a double leg because you can't not, you cannot stay on the floor because it's just you're just going to get beaten. Everyone said you're the best, you said you're the best, but a lot of people have also said you're one of the best amateurs in the country, one of the best turning over, etc. Et et but one thing you did tonight, which was particularly impressive across the week, was you really didn't see the guys tonight. Obviously, I've known you for it one hour. I haven't known you for phase anyway, but could tell through fighting and even on the show for example he was saying some personal things about family members and everything like that that's one thing that when you get further into the puzzle mind games as a fighter is interesting but you dealt with that really well yeah, like, I don't think you're going to get any worse than living with a person who's going to try and chat shit to you the most. Like, Dennis is probably one of the most, most, the biggest shit talks in the UK. Like, I couldn't name maybe any more than the UK. He's there. He's definitely up there, top five, definitely. So, like, I don't see, like, anyone else getting on that level. Why can't they get to Because I'm bulletproof. I'm bulletproof. Like, I'm one of the most mentally strong people I've ever known. Like, I don't know anyone who was mentally strong as me. Like, I, like in Italy, you knew I had to run off the weight. Like I, did, I couldn't sauna it, I couldn't bath it, and that takes some mental, you know, fortitude to do that. Waking up every hour, every other hour to make weight, it's just like it's, it's rough, man. And in vans, I, I didn't have running shoes, I had vans on. So yeah, that's just mental fortitude. And like, I'm not like, why would I care? Like, I'm gonna fight you in X amount of time. Like, why would I really care what's gonna happen? Okay, we'll end on this. And I think, Sorry, uh, Stuart, forget it. What? Forget what Shem did. Oh, yeah, I know. I think October time, or around October time last year, I was asking you where you think you'd be in four years. So it's a year later. Where do you think you're going to be in one year? Given in one year. Had, how soon do you feel like you can just keep rising? What, what do you want to do? Next? Well, you saw the, the level of performance. Like, I don't think, like I said, I don't think you get many, like, um, um, sorry, basic you know, debut level pros right now, performing yeah. like that. Like it's um it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a rarity, you know. And Dennis is a good guy, do you know what I mean? He's from a great camp at Manchester top team. Like, well, what a camp, you know, to come out of. Just I show my pedigree and I've shown it every single fight. Like I showed it in the house. I showed it on them two fights. I beat the wrestler. Do you know what I mean? And I took Armin down, stuck him in around. Got Dennis grinded, grinded, grinded until I got that submission. Like I saw a comment as well. He was like, "Who's the last person George guillotined?" I was like. Because, <laughs> like I said in them interviews, you don't give me a backup, you give me your neck up, yeah. and that's what I took. What's the ceiling for George Stains? Sky's the limit. There is no ceiling. Um, 
as long as I keep grinding the way I grind, it's it's um the sky is the limit. Like I'm, you know, I'm 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 getting the rounds, you know, like with Paddy, with Cullen, with um Nathan, Fl not not so much Nathan, a bit smaller, but like Luke Riley. But I'm with Nathan, you know, um with the guys at Shop Team. Shem, obviously, I knew he was is he, um Dennis's mate and that. But uh, I'm getting the grounds up there, you know, Ben, Ben as well. And the coaches, you know, I've, I've got around me, you know, Stu, Liam, Brad that I had, I've been, you know, getting coached by Rimmer, Ben, Ellis from Jet Next Gen, you know, Paul Reed, my SNC coach, you know, obviously I'm a president and that, or whatever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've got the best team around me that I could possibly, and they all care about me, do you know what I mean? And if you don't have a team that cares, you know, what's the point? Like your team should care about you. So, yeah. Um, thank you for, uh, thank you, my brother. Well done.